Chapter 5 Season 2 is not only being teased but leaked more so by the day. Despite hints right in front of our eyes since the start of this season, with Battle Pass skins already being leaked and teasers on the map, let's just say this may be the first start season of a chapter where we see an ending live event, so stick around until the end to get all of that and more today. Stop, don't forget before you pick up the Battle Pass or anything from the shop, you enter code FM1 inside here as it looks completely different now but it definitely still works, being one of the shortest and easiest codes to enter out there. It would mean the world to me and my dog Charlie the Charcoal Pug and I'm going to have to purchase another big cutout now yeah. considering, yep, yeah, it looks looks different in the item shop. Last video I wanted to know the name of this so here's a bunch of hearted comments on screen right now that got that right. Today however I want to know the name of this so let me know down below in the comments and if it gets hearted it could be shown on screen in the next video so make sure you subscribe to the channel as after all it only benefits you with us gifting different subscribers every single day with some proof for that recently on screen right now. Diving straight into it all to set the ground for this video for those that didn't know of course on the battle pass tab considering there's more writing than before now this season ends on March 8th 2024. Right now we're simply waiting on update 28.10 which is actually the first main major downtime update of this season considering we've already seen 28.01 and then a smaller hotfix called 28.01.01 being the longest thread of an update code name in itself. In case you didn't know when 28.10 is releasing it's around January 23rd according to data miners and of course this lands on the same day Solid Snake and the Superstars are set to be released or revealed in terms of the other cosmetics surrounding both of these. Here are some other cosmetics on screen right now that are repeated throughout the different style images and of course despite those smaller cosmetics that are going to fill up the question marks across two pages. Although we only thought we were going to be seeing one more style for him, you know, the big question mark on page two, apparently according to this image or the different styles that have been leaked, there's three total which is a first for an unlockable or secret skin. Shortly before the next update and of course way before season two because of this which we're about to move on in just a second, something that fans have wanted to come to Fortnite since forever is Peter Griffin which is now finally here. Not in the form originally intended however or should I say Epic Games had the budget for according to Seth MacFarlane in this clip right here. It was great, I had to have have somebody explain to me what the f Fortnite is and then I said well that sounds kind of cool yeah why not let's do it that's a lot of what my career is somebody explaining to me how about this and I say what's that and they explain it to me and so that sounds kind of kind of badass Peter Griffin is a yeah. boss on the map and he's very hard to he's defeat. very muscular in there yes. right yes. I was told that like they didn't have the budget to create his actual body so they had to like stick his head on uh so it's like that TV Guide cover from the 90s where they put Oprah's head on Anne margarets body. Yeah, exactly. Anybody remember that? Right there, he's being incredibly vague as this particular variant that my thumbnail designer made a concept of would literally be paid to lose. I know people are saying paid to win around the internet, but his hitbox would be completely massive in his normal stature or form. But Peter's only been shown a few times throughout Family Guy. In this particular episode, he's too sexy for his fat, airing on June 27th, 2000. And then again in the Michael Bay Peter Griffin Gets Fired episode where he actually has a mullet which would have made a cool selector style in the quest rewards but regardless the reason for mentioning all of that is because these quest rewards are now going to be available before 28.10 for the first time I believe on January 16th. So just like in the trailer where he riffs into Fortnite after getting bad advice off buff meowsels and taking something that instantly made him ripped was using the Petercopter you will be able to too. From landing down on the island hopefully using your Petercopter when it's available you may notice or have since the start of the season that this map largely resembles Europe and looks a lot different in terms of development from the work in progress version Helios in the files that that got leaked, particularly already the centre point of the map despite this being the first season which usually has the zero point underneath of it which results in the end of a chapter, we can already clearly see that this is a Greek themed area from the architecture, the statues of this Atlantean fish stick which hopefully becomes a skin in the season 2 battle pass, more of which we have to reveal in just a second but despite this being an ancient Greek like area with a screen in the middle of it as if something's going to be projected onto there, on these movie posters or what they're actually kind of teasing would be put on, despite a non-broadcast or show case poster missing Peely also being here which is hopefully found in season 2 as this ultimately is the storyline. For those that don't know right now a conflict between the underground faction and the society because of this the society being the ones that have actually captured Peely and the underground trying to find him. This particular poster right here called Odyssey 6 seems to be showing not only some Greek architecture like buildings on top of this mountain in the back but this mountain in itself seems to be bigger than a mountain range already below it and as you guys know we do have a mountain range section on the island right now covered in snow which is actually set to melt in the future update according to also Fortnite's blog post to then revert
revert to this. Although these weather changes are going to be happening, the mountains will still be there, but there's not one significantly bigger as shown on the poster in terms of comparison right now than the overall mountain range in itself, which makes me believe we're going to be seeing Mount Olympus as a location or POI that we can land at in Season 2 upon it launching. And in case you've been living under a rock again, the reason Chapter 5 Season 2 is speculated to be Greek mythology themed is according to these hints from Hypex posting the current map's art style and theme, which we already said resembles Europe largely. Next season is codenamed Ager or Iger, whatever you want to pronounce it as, which means goat in Greek. Maybe this means for the second season of a chapter like most, we see a goated season such as Midas making an appearance, and also the final three members of the Seven in Fortnite Resistance for Chapter 3 Season 2 being the Sisters and the Origin, not to mention the Mega City making an appearance in Chapter 4 Season 2 with Eren Jaeger in the ODM Mythics, which I thought were crazy. Codenames in the files tell us a lot about what's upcoming in Fortnite next, sometimes hidden or right in front of our eyes that data miners miss because they're so obvious, such as even Helios being the codename of Chapter 5 overall. In the files, one of the non-bigger data miners managed to find the work in progress version of the Chapter 5 island, which of course has been worked on off of this, but we can definitely tell it has resemblances. And with Fortnite constantly releasing survey skins, 40 of which literally just appeared on social media prior to Chapter 5 starting, as you can see, here's 16 off of the Fortnite surveys, largely resembling this ancient Greek theme, which could be upcoming in the Season 2 Battle Pass for 8 of the skins, or maybe even 7 in the hopes that we get Atlantean Fish Stick. Make that 6 actually, considering in the files right now there's a lightning effect for the boss Aegis C and Aegis Z, I believe, which Aegis Z is obviously codenamed for a skin beginning with Z, which we believe to be Zeus, obviously being the god of thunder, lightning, or god of gods in Greek mythology itself. Then Aegis C, that's been vaguely mentioned or not very often, could be Cerberus, which as we can see is this wolf-like hellhound character from the Fortnite surveys, which is actually the most wanted or voted as number one from the community. And with Fortnite showing us with the launch of Chapter 5, they're not changing the secret or unlockable skins to be only just Fortnite creations, as Solid Snake obviously is from Metal Gear Solid, being a collaboration in itself. With Data Miners finding out about two upcoming collaborations, one of which may happen before Season 2 starts, that would then mean one of the two, obviously the other one that hadn't happened yet, out of Avatar and also Devil May Cry, could be the next secret or unlockable skin. If this is determined, we'll find out in Season 2, but Fortnite have been working way far in advance, of course, to get everything ready for Chapter 5 before it released, being the three new modes, Fortnite Festival, Fortnite Racing and LEGO. Because of that, honestly, either of these collabs wouldn't surprise me whether it is Avatar implementing one of the blue characters. I'm not familiar too much with the franchise or one of the main characters from Devil May Cry. Speaking of them working in advance last year, the transition that allowed this from Fortnite OG to Chapter 5 with this universe of games now instead of it just being Battle Royale was the Big Bang event. This was literally the first in-game live event, story-related or on the Battle Royale island since Fracture the previous year, so it looked like at that point we were only getting not only annual chapters but annual live events. And considering we never usually see a live event for the first in a chapter, for instance, Chapter 2 Season 1, Chapter 3 Season 1, and Chapter 4 Season 1, all of this very well could be changing according to Not Jules Dev, who seems to have inside information a lot of the time or is a very reliable data miner, stating theory according to the API, Chapter 5 Season 1 ends March 8th, while Chapter 5 Season 2 starts March 9th. This is either a really long downtime, a placeholder, or possibly a live event. It would be really cool to see Fortnite break this cursed cycle of not having a live event again in the first season of a new chapter, and instead of having map changes build up towards something happening in the cinematic trailer, have it occur for us all to attend. Even if we don't see any live event developments in the files for 28.10 or map changes pointing toward it, we have two more updates after that being 28.20 and 28.30. Speaking of 28.30, the last update of this season, Epic Games just started playtesting it a few days ago on January 10th, and Sheena stated with it being the last update of the season, it could include these Season 2 teasers or hints. Most importantly, it's going to be released on February 20th, so between 28.10 on the 23rd of January and then this 28.30 on February 20th, we can be expecting 28.20. I'm guessing this will also include some Valentine's Day cosmetics or skins that we'll either be able to earn through some sort of program or even in-game quests, or maybe for zero of ebooks in the item shop, who knows? After all, Fortnite's maintained its popularity, thankfully, since OG bringing all the players back for 100 million player month in the month of November, I believe it was. But despite November as a record, even in December, Sheena stated Fortnite had more playtime on consoles than all of these games combined, being Call of Duty, EA Sports FC24, Grand Theft Auto 5, and Roblox probably being, honestly, the biggest or largest games on console, or just in general. Circling back to Greek mythology, involving Midas now considering his chair and many of the props from the season he was introduced and have washed up onto the Chapter 5 island. Midas, the skin or character we've all grown to love with the gold touch turning everything he touches, well, into gold itself, even weapons in game, literally being the only reactive skin to do this. All of this came from, you guessed it, Greek mythology, and there's even further evidence 
evidence despite his chair in Season 2 props from Chapter 2, washing up on the island to suggest his return. Being, as Egyptian Leak has stated, it's confirmed that Midas returns at some point in the future. This is because the Floor is Lava LTM was renamed in the API to Midas Presents the Floor is Lava for a short time and then reversed again. Despite Midas's master plan of the Doomsday device backfiring and then him being alone and depressed on a raft, eaten by a shark shortly after, Donald Mustard, the ex-CCO of Epic Games, stated before the Chapter 2 finale that Midas wasn't dead, despite us seeing this in the prior seasons of Chapter 2, and he also mentioned about the fact that this was the version of Midas within the loop. This, of course, fit the narrative for Midas returning for Midas's revenge in Chapter 2 Season 4, literally the season after we saw him got eaten in Chapter 2 Season 3, which pretty much means overall now anything's possible and the return of Midas. Another snapshot of him could be largely involved in the story progressing throughout Chapter 5 in Season 2. Drop a like if you want to see him return and subscribe with all notifications turned on so you don't miss any future uploads. Don't forget to enter code FM1 for when the item shop actually rotates new skins or anything throughout there. And speaking of other videos, click either of these two on screen right now. YouTube's recommended you. Whilst you wait for the very next one, I do publish on the channel.